So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Of course, what we actually have here is a graph. And I like graph questions because I can always utilize points on the graph, like this point, like all these points, right, have values, x and y values associated with them, which I may be able to use to my benefit. So let's read the question and see how we're going to use this graph. So the question says a patio is to be made using square paving stones that are all the same size. Okay. There will be no gaps between the paving stones and they will not overlap. All right. The line in the XY plane above or for us to the left represents the relationship between the area Y. Okay. So these, these values are area. My Y values are area y in square feet of the patio and the number of paving stones. So this is number of, I'll just say stones here. Okay, got it. Used to make the patio with, I'm sorry, the top surface of each paving stone is a square with side length k. So I'm just going to draw an example of that. There's my paving stone and of course each side is k. What is the value of k? All right, so what do I know? I know that if I have two paving stones, right? So boom, and right next to each other, right? No overlap, no gap. So I'd have K, 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 and K. That the area of those two paving stones is eight, what's the unit? Eight square feet. So then how would I find the area of this entire shape? And I'm going to just outline the entire shape, which technically is a rectangle now. I'm going to outline it in red. So hopefully that makes sense. I put two square paving stones side by side, and it therefore creates overall, in terms of total area, total surface area, a rectangle. And the graph tells me that when I have those two stones side by side, my area should be 8. So if I were finding the area, and now I'm going to just redraw the rectangle like this, my length would be 2k, my width would just be k, my area is base time height or length time width, which would be 2k times k, or 2k squared. The graph tells me that that's equal to 8. Right, So when you have two stones together, it's an area of 8. I can then divide both sides by 2, leaving me with, go up here for some space, k squared equals 4. I can then square root both sides, and therefore k must equal 2. So the correct answer here must be choice B.